Hi everyone and uh, welcome to this new video analysis where I will take a look at uh, one soft community that is uh, probably about to rally. This opportunity is, is uh, interesting because the broad markets, uh, and I have uh, especially the equities in mind, are in a somewhat neutral state uh, and while there were some incredible opportunities in the currency markets uh, that we alerted you about uh, weeks or maybe a few months ago uh, and by the way these are doing uh, incredibly well uh, I would say that uh, this train has uh, already left so there is not uh, many opportunities uh, right now and this one might be worth your attention. So uh, before I get uh, to it, uh, I have to uh, remind you that this video is uh, not investment advice. And if I'm going to speak about uh, specific uh, financial instruments like futures, spreads, ETFs and others, uh, it is always just for educational purposes. Let's get uh, straight to the point. The commodity I had in mind is coffee. So uh, using these few charts, I will explain why I consider the current setup really interesting from the short term perspective. So here is the uh, coffee price itself. And you can witness uh, the Friday's uh, tall green candle that was uh, really crucial because uh, it uh, uh, has uh, broken above this falling trend line and while it is true that we have yet to see if uh, this uh, will turn out to be sustainable breakout uh, unlike for example the one from June that uh, uh, was uh, proven to be false I think there is a decent chance that this one will stick simply because when you zoom out to the weekly time frame you can see that the current bounce comes from uh, the lever level of double support somewhere below 150 cents so uh, this makes me optimistic uh, about coffee in the short term and uh, maybe the price will continue immediately higher maybe there will be some kind of consolidation first who knows but uh, i would like to see the price to stay above this falling trend line but uh, even more importantly to stay above uh, the crucial support below 150. Uh, these trend lines are not as important because uh, everybody can draw them uh, somewhat uh, differently but uh, this uh, uh, medium to long term support uh, is undisputable so I definitely want the price to uh, stay above it. So this was uh, pure price action but uh, even more bullish development has happened uh, in coffee spreads, in the inter-delivery spreads. So here we have uh, the spreads. I will focus on the, uh, the near spread first and I will hide the underlying. And you can notice a similar breakout even here uh, this is the trend line uh, that occurred this Friday so the, the spread broke uh, above minus 2 but uh, similar to the uh, to the price itself I consider uh, the horizontal uh, support resistance uh, level around here to be kind of more important uh, due to the same reasons as with the price so uh, even here I want the spread to uh, uh, drift higher under ideal conditions but uh, critically it must uh, uh, hold above this, uh, uh, this uh, horizontal trend line somewhere between uh, minus 2.5 and minus 2 so this is uh, a level of strong support resistance previously it was support uh, before the spread uh, broke below uh, at the end of june uh, then it turned into resistance uh, over uh, the entire summer 
and now it has broken above so it is uh, support again uh, when uh, we take a look at the distance spread uh, it is uh, naturally much less sensitive to the current market conditions but we can uh, identify uh, a bullish uh, divergence here because uh, you can see that the spread uh, is already moving up for quite some time for two months already but the underlying itself made uh, a lower low so this is a clear bullish uh, divergence and uh, it is another reason why uh, we are simply bullish coffee uh, here I do recommend you to pay attention to these spreads because they are more reflective of the situation in the physical market uh, than the uh, underlying price uh, itself. Uh, the next one is the positioning, uh, the commitments of traders data, uh, which is also outright bullish. Uh, you can see that uh, the hedgers, the uh, producers, uh, merchants and uh, users and others uh, are clearly, I mean their net positions are clearly approaching zero which uh, historically was uh, uh, the level where mm, the price uh, tended to turn around and uh, start moving higher. Uh, the managed money, the speculators are net short and this uh, short positioning will, in my opinion, act as a fuel for the upcoming uh, rally. So this is also looking very uh, supportive for the price going forward. So these were the net positions. I also have the net traders indicator uh, here below. And I will uh, focus on one tiny detail that uh, nevertheless might be important. Uh, you can notice uh, this uh, divergence. Yes, it is a short term divergence, but still a clear divergence between uh, the uh, speculative uh, uh, net traders uh, curve and the price itself. The price continue to move sideways while uh, the large speculators uh, were already turning bullish. Uh, this is not something that works 100% of the time and once I, uh, as I said, it's just a detail. But if you study the data into the past and not just on coffee but also in other markets, uh, you will find out that uh, such a divergence uh, often precedes a turnaround, a bullish uh, turnaround in uh, commodities so this is uh, another detail that uh, fits the bullish uh, outlook uh, perfectly the last but not least is uh, the seasonal analysis and this is the only one that uh, is not bullish on the other hand uh, it is also not bearish it's it is uh, rather neutral uh, the seasonal curves are moving sideways uh, uh, some of them turn up uh, near the end of October uh, the 15 year continues to, to drift lower even uh, after uh, after October uh, the statistics below are close to uh, 50% so this one is perfectly neutral and uh, I would simply disregard uh, this because if there is uh, anything that uh, uh, will drive the price of coffee uh, in the upcoming weeks and months it will probably not be seasonality okay that was uh, the last chart uh, I'm gonna show you today uh, keep in mind it's uh, critical to watch the support below somewhere below 150 cents because uh, uh, it will be really critical for uh, the price going forward and for the bullish thesis. Another important uh, factor or support is this one on uh, the near spread, but you can also watch the spread in general because they are really indicative of uh, the conditions in the physical market. 
And besides that, remember, this is a short-term opportunity. Uh, I cannot rule out that it uh, will morph into a medium-term trend, who knows, but uh, from the perspective of, of the data we are using to analyze this, uh, these are, uh, the sh this, is, this, are, this is the, sh the short-term stuff, in other words. So uh, keep that in mind. And uh, we still like this opportunity, especially because of its lower correlation with the broad markets and uh, uh, the lack of <laughs> uh, opportunities in uh, stocks and currencies right now. And finally, if uh, someone of you would ask me if I consider trading this opportunity myself, the answer uh, is no, uh, because uh, I don't understand soft commodities. I'm definitely uh, not uh, expert on softs and I do not trade things I don't understand, period. And the second reason is that I still consider it to be a short-term opportunity and I'm no longer interested in short-term stuff. I only uh, invest or trade uh, at least medium-term, but preferably uh, long-term opportunities or opportunities that may develop into long-term trends. And that's finally all for today. Uh, thank you for watching us and uh, see you next time, which, by the way, will be in uh, two weeks with the upcoming uh, quarterly macro outlook uh, that will be really uh, important and interesting. So I hope you will not miss it uh, two weeks uh, from now. Goodbye.